So today we are going to do the trick of the rising fluid. And to help us with this trick, what we have is a, a capacitor here. Um, and we see that there's a liquid uh, halfway up this capacitor. And what we're going to do is put a voltage across this capacitor and watch the liquid rise. And so first of all, let's uh, have a look at the equations. The first thing we're going to do is kind of draw this sketch out here. I have these two parallel plates, a distance D apart. And when I put a voltage across these plates, we will raise some amount of liquid, some um, volume of liquid here that we're going to rise up. Now, an electric field stores energy, and the formula for the, this energy stored is uh, one half epsilon e squared times the volume. So this is basically the uh, the electric field itself uh, is is holding this energy. And with a dielectric uh, inside, so a fluid inside, we have this energy is one half epsilon e squared times the volume. If there was no dielectric, this is approximately um, in air is approximately one half epsilon zero e squared times the volume because the dielectric constant of air is quite close to one. So now I can take the difference between these two energies, and we see we've got a uh, we basically take this these terms times the epsilon minus epsilon zero, and um, now I've just kind of rewritten this equation here on this next page. And the other thing we need to think about is that we've increased the energy um, by putting this dielectric in this volume. And this energy is the uh, potential energy of the fluid that's going to be raised. So in this case, we take uh, this volume of liquid and we raise the center of mass of this volume of, of liquid up a height h over 2. So this height that that we increase the fluid, um, half of that is where the center of mass is. So the gravitational potential energy of this lifted fluid is just um, mg, the force, times the distance that it traveled, which is h over 2. And so this total uh, energy is um, the mass, of course, is the density times the volume, so I can uh, rewrite this uh, with rho g h over 2 times the volume. And now I have these uh, two amounts of energy. So the energy that uh, is required to ri raise this fluid is also the increase in the energy in the electric field. So when I equate these two together, I see that the volumes cancel out, this factor of 2 cancels out, and I have that the height is related to the electric field squared, uh, the density, gravity, times these constants. And if you remember, uh, the electric field of a parallel plate um, capacitor is the voltage time divided by the distance. And so we can now write the height as a function of the voltage. And so this is what we're going to do now in our experiment. We're going to increase the voltage and see if we can increase the height. So let's go back over to our experiment here. Uh, so here I am, and we're going to watch this, uh, this uh, voltage increase. So here we can see the voltage that is applied on these plates. Here's the two plates. The fluid is uh, down here. And as we increase this voltage, we should see this liquid rise up here. And so let's have a look and see if that's the case. So I'm coming back over to my uh, display here. And I am now coming to my power supply. And I'm going to start increasing this voltage slowly. OK, so we see this number is increasing. We're now at 0.5 kilovolts now at 1 kilovolt. And remember, the height goes like v squared. So we have to uh, uh, 
to, we should start seeing an effect here. So here's twice the voltage now, and we see the height that it's gone up. We actually see the fluid rising now. This is three kilovolts. Here is four kilovolts. Five. And I think the max of this thing will go before it starts sparking is probably about six kilovolts. So here we are at six kilovolts, and we see that we have uh, raised the fluid here. So the liquid has risen to a height here due to our voltage. So we've done our trick, and physics works. So I'll see you next time. Well, thanks for watching. It looks like I survived today. Um, but if you want to find out if I survive the next experiment, then um, remember to click like, click subscribe, and I'll see you next time.